One of the hardest parts of doing data science projects is coming up with the idea. You can spend hours trying to find an interesting project, find good data, and thinking what type of analysis to do. It can also be really lonely. Both of these reasons is why I built my course, Data Science Project Studio, which helps you find access to people building projects and helps you build projects much faster. And one of the resources in that course is something called Tidy Tuesday. Tidy Tuesday is a weekly data project put on by the R for Data Science online community, where basically every week they issue a new challenge that tests your ability to load data into R, analyze that data, and create a meaningful graph all in a weekly challenge every single week. And so in this video, I'm gonna walk you through my first Tidy Tuesday challenge. I created this graph right here, which basically shows you different personality traits of main characters from the television show, The Office. This data set was really fun to work with and I can't wait to show you. And I'm gonna show you how to do everything that I did to create that graph and enter this challenge. But first I wanna say this is a video from my series, 30 Data Science Projects in 30 Days, where I do something that no other data scientist has done before, and that is build 30 data science projects in 30 days, hence the name, right? It makes sense. We just crossed the halfway point, which means I have 15 plus projects that you can get access to, the data, the code, all for free, the tutorials. Just click the link in the description down below and that'll take you to my site, which basically has all the resources that you need to recreate these projects and build an awesome portfolio. And just to emphasize, Tidy Tuesday is a weekly social data project in R. Basically, they're trying to help you understand how to summarize, arrange, and make meaningful charts. And it's heavily supported by the R and data science community. If you go to the Twitter, explore section and type in tidy Tuesday. You're going to get all sorts of visualizations with the tidy Tuesday hashtag explaining what they did, how they made these visualizations, taking on their take of this week's challenge or maybe a previous challenge as well. You can go through these for hours and get really inspired, get cool ideas and even get some really great code snippets. So back in the official tidy Tuesday GitHub repo, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you're going to get the data sets which basically have the challenge data as well. We can click on 2022 to make sure we are in the right year. Scroll down to the bottom here and we will find this week's challenge, which was from August 16th. Click on this right here. And basically it has a readme explaining everything. This data set is coming from the open source psychometrics project. And this is a really cool project in a really cool data set. Basically what it is, is a huge list of all these different movie characters or television characters from all these different shows like Game of Thrones, Bob Burgers, Westworld, etc., and their personality characteristics. So using the snippet right here, I was able to load in the data into our studio. And this is what it looks like. We have the characters data frame, which basically has all these different characters, Monica and Rachel and Chandler from Friends, how notable they are, a link to their picture, a link to their stats, but also the second data frame, which actually has the individual stats. So for instance, this is kind of a uh, hard, hard data frame to work with, but you have Monica Geller, you know, how neat is she? She got a score of 95.7, which indicates that she is really neat. Uh, we can kind of go down and look, you know, at some more of her personalities. You know, is she a builder? People voted 76% that she is a builder. And I think that this uh, rating goes from zero to 100. And there are so many rows. You can just see 356,000 rows of data. So lots of attributes for lots of different characters. So my thought was to look at these different characters and look at their personality traits and kind of compare and contrast. And now I thought about doing that from people from different worlds. So maybe like compare Joey from Friends with Dwight from The Office with you know Peter Parker from Marvel or something like that. But I ended up just choosing The Office because I just love The Office and for simplicity's sake. Obviously, I'm doing 30 day science projects in 30 days. It takes a lot of work, so sometimes we just have to do simple is better, finish each day's project. But you can go and make this as cool or as complicated as you want, but I'll show you what I did to create this office chart that basically shows you know the different personalities of people from The Office and how they compare and contrast. First, inside of R, we're going to get the libraries that we need. We need Dippler, Tidyverse, Showtex. Actually, I'm not sure if we need that one. GG Radar and Scales. And this will be for our vi visualization. And this will be for our data manipulation. Next, we're going to read in that data like I showed you earlier. That was from the GitHub. Basically, we're accessing the Tidy Tuesday uh, section, this particular project, and getting the characters data and the stats data. After that, we're doing all of our data manipulation. I have that in one cell. Um, I'll basically go through each line and tell you what's going on. We're taking these stats and we're filtering it by the office because that's, that's what I wanted to focus on was the office television show. So instead of having a huge data set, we're going to just narrow it down to the office. From there, we're going to choose some traits that we're interested in because, you know, if we are to look at the office, I can open that up over here. 
the office has like Jim Halpert has like dozens and dozens of attributes. We're still, we're at 180 and it's still Jim Halpert. So we're going to choose some, and you can see some of these are so weird, like prestigious, or is he one faced or two faced? Is he this emoji or that emoji? Some of these are super stupid, I think. So I just went ahead and simplified it to playful, opinionated, awkward, emotional, dramatic, playful again. Oops, I guess I don't need playful twice, right? Um, flirtatious, bold, and trusting. And the reason I chose these is I actually went through and I did this with R, of course, but found, you know, which ones were the most common in all of our characters. Because, for instance, Jim might have playful, but Dwight might not have playful. So that, that is a little bit troublesome, and we'll get to that here in a bit. So I went through and took the office data frame and made the office small data frame, which is filtering where the personality is one of these. So we're basically making, you know, you can see over here, we went from 6,000 rows to 95 rows. So really bringing the number of rows down quite a bit. Then from there, what we're going to do is only keep the important columns. So we just want the character name, the personality, and the average rating. There were some extra columns. We don't really care about those columns. We just need the name, what the personality is, and what the rating is, right? And then from there, this is where things get a little bit tricky because for instance, and I don't really know where these are necessarily, but Jim had multiple like playful values. So I just got rid of duplicates based off of the name and personality and just kept the first one, assuming that they were pretty much the same. That might not be the best assumption, but it was the easiest assumption at this point. Next, I pivoted. So we went from the office small, which looks like this. So for instance, you see Jim's, all his traits, Dwight's all tra traits, Pam's traits their values, et cetera, et cetera. But we wanted to flip this, basically pivot it, where instead of having Jim be you know, multiple rows, we're gonna have Jim be one row with the personalities being the columns and the ratings being the intersection or the cells. So that's called a pivot and we're going to use the wide pivot wider function where once again, the names, basically that's going to be the columns, the column names is the personality and the values are the average rating. And that made comparison and comparison looks like this. So now we have one row for Jim and we have the different characteristics at the top, playful, bold, flirtatious, and their values there. But we needed to replace Nan. So like I said, not every character had every value. And I was trying to like find a set of values that everyone had, but it ended up just being too hard. So we did some data cleaning here. And basically, so for instance, if Pam, for example, didn't have playful, the mean of playful became the value for Pam. So we basically replaced Nans with the column mean. That's called imputing. Um, there's definitely some underlying assumptions and, and you know maybe not the best assumptions there, but that was one of the easiest things that we could do for this project to make it look really nice. And then there was just too many characters. So I narrowed it down to the top one, two, three, four, five characters that I enjoy, Michael, Jim, Pam, Dwight, and Andy, and just filtered that uh, comparison down to comparison small. So that way there's only those, you know, few rows, sorry, comparison small here, those five rows of people, because the spider chart, the radar chart just gets really loaded. Then I used uh, GG Radar, which was basically able to create this beautiful graph which shows, you know, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different personality traits across five characters. And we can see like some really interesting things. So for instance, Pam is this purple color over here and the purple color is pretty different than the yellow character. And the yellow character is Dwight. So Dwight is really bold. Pam's not very bold. Pam is very trusting. Dwight isn't trusting at all, uh, which is if you've seen the show, you know why. Dwight's really opinionated. Pam, not so much. One of the interesting ones is Jim. I'm not super sure what happened here, if this is true or not, but like Jim is really low on everything except for he's really playful and pretty flirtatious, which I thought was pretty funny. Uh, Andy, not trusting, very dramatic, very playful, somewhat bold, not flirtatious, which I'd kind of argue he is, not very emo or opinionated, very emotional, and very awkward. So anyways, it's kind of fun. You can do these types of things and, and make this type of graph and, and really try to understand the characteristics of the personalities of the office. Now, as always, in the resources section in the description, I'm going to give you access to this code so you can recreate this exact same thing. But here's some cool things that you could put your own twist on, okay? Instead of focusing on, focusing on the office, maybe you could focus on a different television show. Maybe you focus on multiple shows. Maybe you combine Game of Thrones and Ted Lasso together and do some sort of comparison. You know, maybe you take the 
happiest people from different Marvels, Marvel movies. I saw someone looked at heroes. So like all the heroes from different movies and compared and contrast the personality. And you can get more inspiration by looking on Twitter and seeing what other people have done and maybe combining what two different projects did. You can go a lot of different directions with this project. So it's really fun. If you enjoyed this video, please look at this playlist over here. It has 30 data science projects that I did in 30 days. And if you really enjoyed it and you wanna see more videos from me, click the subscribe button right here. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you tomorrow.